in yet another stunt to add much needed fuel to the stalling Russia witch hunt as we head into 2018 midterms, Mueller has handed down another 12 pointless indictments that will never amount to anything, and do absolutely nothing to corroborate the scam story that Trump colluded with Russia to steal the White House from the much hated Hillary Clinton. From Washington Examiner, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein said Friday that special counsel Robert Mueller has indicted 12 Russian military officials for federal crimes during the 2016 election, including trying to hack into Democratic servers, including servers run by Hillary Clinton's campaign. The move was announced just days before President Trump will meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin when he is expected to press Putin again to explain the U.S. argument that Russia meddled in the U.S. election. It's likely to boost Democrats who have argued for more than a year that Russia was trying to help get Trump elected, in the face of counterclaims from some Republicans that Democrats leaned on this complaint to explain Clinton's loss to Trump. Mueller's indictment alleged that the 12 Russian officials engaged in a sustained effort to break into computers owned by the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee the Democratic National Committee, and Hillary Clinton's campaign. The indictment was returned Friday in federal court. The 12 are charged with releasing emails under the names DC Leaks and Gussifer 2.0. The defendants worked for two units of a Russian Federation intelligence agency within the main intelligence directorate of the Russian military, and started hacking into Clinton's campaign emails in 2016. The Russians used two techniques to hack into Democratic computers, Rosenstein said at a press conference Friday at the Justice Department headquarters in Washington. One was using misleading emails to volunteers and employees of Clinton's presidential campaign to trick users into disclosing their usernames passwords, a process known as spear phishing. Then, the Russians used that information to hack into computer networks to install malware and spy on users and capture information. The Internet allows foreign adversaries to attack America in new and unexpected ways, Rosenstein said in a prepared statement. Together with our law enforcement partners, the Department of Justice is resolution in its commitment to locate, identify and seek to bring to justice anyone who interferes with American elections. According to the Justice Department, there is no allegation in the indictment that any American was a knowing participant in the Russians' efforts nor did they know they were communicating with Russian intelligence officers. Further, there is no allegation in the indictment that Russians were able to alter a vote count or change the outcome of the 2016 presidential election. Rosenstein said the Justice Department's National Security Division will take over responsibility of the indictment, and that Mueller's investigation remains ongoing. People who speculate about federal indictments do not know all the relevant facts. Most anonymous leak are not from the government officials who are conducting these investigations, Rosenstein said. President Trump was briefed earlier this week on the indictment, Rosenstein said. 